right, class, today we are going to look at the math strategy, Use Manipulatives. Okay. This book is called Teddy Bear Edition, and I can see that, like we use in our classroom, they're using our counting bears. Here they are showing me a group of two, and here they are showing me a group of four. When you push these two groups together and join them, that's addition. That's the plus sign that we use to show addition. Teddy Bear Edition by Barbara Barbieri McGrath and illustrated by Tim Nyhoff. A big Teddy welcome from Math Loving Bears. Hello friends, he says. Let's count, add, and play without any cares. Pour out the teddy bears to add the bear way. First, guess how many are ready to play. Guessing how many is called guesstimating. It's fun because there's no wrong answer. I'll show you how to do that a different day. Today we're gonna look at using manipulatives as a strategy for addition. To find out the answer about the amount, you have to line up the teddies and count, count, count. So there they were using the strategy touch and line up and touch and count. We used that when we were counting. Counting the teddies means giving each bear its own number name. Okay. Here they're sorting their teddies by color. They called each group a set. Remember, the word set is another word for group. Count each different color. What do you get? So how many are in the orange set? There were seven. How many are in the blue set? There's four. How many are in the red set? There's 13. There's 10 yellow bears in the yellow group. It's the yellow set. In the green set, there's 11 bears. And in the purple set, there's five bears. Now, when we put the sets together, no group is the same, but the numbers you combine share a special name. So this set has five, this set has four. When we want to add them together, we're joining them, and that makes this group called an addend, and this group is called an addend. So the groups that we join in addition are called addends. I'm going to use manipulatives to do this problem. We have a set of five purple bears. We have a set of four blue bears. Addition is the act of joining the two sets, the two groups, to make one big group. When we make one big group, that's our total. So I can say that we had five purple bears. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five plus four equals nine. So purple plus blues, teddies are having a ball. Find the total or sum by adding them all. So the two numbers that we're joining together are called add-ins and the number we get all together when we join the two groups into one big group that number is called a total or a sum. Oh, here they're writing equations or number sentences. They said five plus four equals nine. So they have their group of five and the group of four. When they join them all together, there are nine. So this is a plus sign, this is an equal sign. The bears don't get dizzy when you turn it around. All that they want us to know there is that it's okay to have the total come first, then the equal sign, and then our two add-ins, our two groups. That's okay too, because equals just means the same as. So nine is the same as four plus five. 
because 9, it's the same as these 4 plus these 5. So it's okay to do it with the, with the total first. We won't always see it that way. In kindergarten, most of the time, we see it with the two add-ins and the plus sign in between them, the equal sign, and then the total at the very end. The plus sign means add. It goes between the two numbers that you want to add. The numbers on each side of the equal sign must have the same value. Look at this equation. Does it seem rather tall? Addition can be vertical. It's no trouble at all. Vertical means up and down. Okay, So they're just showing us that these five teddy bears can be joined with these four teddy bears. We have our five plus our four. When we join them all together, we have our total, nine. We're just taking two groups and joining them together. That's addition. So sometimes we'll see it from top to bottom or up and down. And it's here's our two add-ins, here's our plus sign, and here's our sum or total. Sum and total mean the same thing. All numbers have a value, a face, a fact we must face. Now we've studied all these digits before. We know that one is all by himself. We know that one more is always the next number. So there's two. We already know this. We know that in the numbers in the teens that we worked on, we know that this is the tens place, and that's how many groups of 10 a number has. All those numbers in the teens had one group of 10, and this is how many extra ones. Remember when we studied that? Okay. Now we're gonna be working with our orange bears and our blue bears. Our blue set still has four. I can get four teddy bear manipulatives to represent the number four. I don't have enough of the orangish, so I'm gonna use these yellows, and that's okay. How many do I need? Count with me. You're right, seven. Thank you for touching and counting in order to make sure we counted correctly. So here we have an add-end of seven, a set of seven. We have a set of four. When we push those two groups together and join them, that's addition. All together, we have 11 bears. The total is 11. Now I know that at your house, you don't have counting bears. That's okay. You could be using a group of pennies for one set or addend and a group of nickels for another set or addend. You have manipulatives around your house even if you don't think that you do. You could be using spoons and forks. You don't have to use counting bears. Here we have yellow plus purple, red teddies plus blue, green bears plus orange. Each sum or total would be new. They're showing me 10 teddy bears here and five teddy bears here. If I wanted to model that problem with manipulatives, I would just get 10 teddy bears. So I'm gonna take my seven yellow teddy bears that I had before, and I want that group to be 10. Eight, nine, 10. And then I want five of my purple bears. So I have my 10 yellow bears, 
and I have my five purple bears. When I join those two sets, those two groups together, I'm going to add my ten yellows to my five purples, and I can count them again. I know I had ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 10 plus 5 equals 15. You can use manipulatives to help you with math as well.